Finding and getting featured snippets using Rank Active's Google SERP snippet tool. Now, featured snippets have become an essential part of any website's SEO strategy in 2020. Uh, grabbing a featured snippet for a keyword can help uh, you leapfrog your blog post, service page, or product page right over the competition in the first place in the Google search results. The feature snippet placement in the search engine results pages, uh, the SERPs, is often referred to as position zero. So the featured snippet is called position zero um, by SEOs and uh, marketing speakers. Um, that's basically because snippets appear before the first organic result, which is considered position one. So um, let's take a look at how to get feature snippets by using um, a cool rank tracking tool feature in a software product called Rank Active that I use for my own websites and many of my clients. I'll take a look at Rank Active here and I'm just on the Fatfrog Media um, website. And this is a list of um, keywords that are ranking. Um, I have, I've got them sorted via a featured snippet. So in the Serap elements section over here, which you'll need to enable by clicking on the column chooser, I've just uh, ordered by featured snippet. So you can order via different different things, but um, feature snippet is the, um, the word of the day for this video. Um, so you can see here the very first box here is a feature snippet. Then we have people also ask videos related search. Now uh, well, let's just take a look at one. Let's take a look at this blog post promotion checklist where my post is ranking in position two. So there is a featured snippet and a video appearing on the search engine result results page. And I just want to see what uh, the feature snippet looks like. So we can click on this little button here in the middle and it shows the results. Actually, there's two featured snippets, which is interesting. It's, it's rare to see that. And then we have my blog post here in position two in the organic results, but it's actually position four. So as you can imagine, more people will click here or here than these two. Um, now, what's the difference um, between mine and position one? Well, position one seems to be a slightly better um, formatted blog post. So what it's uh, worth doing now, if you, you're in the same situation, is to examine, go in and actually look at these blog posts and see the way they're structured and examine how they're structured. Uh, here's another one here. See how they're using checklists. Are they using bullet points? Are they using numbers before? Uh, are they using headings? For, for example, we can go through each of the of the factors to see why they have managed to get the feature snippet but your blog post hasn't now i can look at a say one way down the list here i just pulled one there i think it's in position 50 or something just to uh, it's not to pick on this website but it's to show why it's uh, probably not ranking anywhere and it's definitely not going to get a feature snippet so in fact this is actually a tag page as we can see here in the url um, they've enabled tags in their WordPress um, content management system, which I don't recommend doing. I recommend removing tags. As a side note, you can do that in SEO Press, which I use. You can also do it in Yoast. This is how you do it in SEO Press. Just go into Titles and Media under Tags. Make sure that's off and do not display this taxonomy archive in search engine results. Make sure that's ticked. Save it. It won't display tags. Because what can happen is if you've got multiple tags for a particular, sorry, you've got a tag on multiple blog posts, uh, Google, Google may show the tag page, which isn't, which isn't perfect. So these guys have uh, an infographic and a blog post for the same keyword. So that's not ideal. This blog post should contain the infographic, say, for example. And if we look inside here, uh, we can see immediately that it's not really formatted properly. Um, like this uh, heading here is actually just a paragraph, but bolded, okay? Uh, whereas the top results are headings. So they either H2 or H3. I recommend H2 for headings. 
um, Google likes Google appears to like well structured blog posts. You know, writing a wall of text just like this um, will not get you a featured snippet anytime soon. And the best the best way of snagging prime real estate on Google is to format your blog posts the way it wants it to be formatted and make the pages easy for the search engine to understand. Um, so the, the in this case, the author of this blog post is, is missing a big opportunity. Um, yes, yeah, so there's only eight items on this checklist as well. So they that's worth comparing to the featured snippet results to see what's there. Um, my blog post is second in the organic listings, but I wager that it gets fewer clicks than either of the featured snippets. All right, so let's take a look at another example of a winning recipe for getting featured snippets. Um, let's take a look at um, this one here, the difference between AdWords and AdWords Express. It's now called Google Ads, but a lot of people still use the word AdWords. Uh, so it's Google Ads and AdWords Express. Um, but it doesn't really matter. In this case, I've dropped a couple of posi or one position here, I should say. And the winning snippet, uh, let's, let's, let's take a look and see what the winning snippet is. If we click here, we can see uh, that um, it's quite concise. AdWords Express is a simplified version of AdWords. It automates campaign management alleviating the need for daily tasks or oversight. So this is a short, concise explanation of what AdWords is. Whereas my po post, uh, where is it now? My post doesn't really do that. I'm just gonna come in here and take a look. So it talks about new advertisers, which serves us to use, uh, how to get started, various things so it's not as con it doesn't really give a concise answer to the question of adword the difference between adwords and adwords express and google's natural language processing algorithms understand that if somebody types that in they want a quick answer and then they have the option to go and read the rest and it, it also matters for people searching on mobile because they're using their voice and google is able to respond really quickly with an answer like this um three lines uh, and it's delivered uh, direct to the uh, mobile device so it's very important to think about voice search as well so um yeah it, it, this is a good example of how you can improve your content to snag these featured snippets uh, google gives a top spot to a post that is clear in answering the, the, the question fragment difference between adwords and adwords express if you know if a post doesn't actually answer this it won't get the snippet now it might rank in the results for uh you know in the organic results but it's unlikely to get position zero which is the prize featured snippet spot so let's take a look at another example here all using um, rank actives tool here which gives you some great insights let's look at um, sim versus ppc which is search engine marketing versus pay-per-click uh, there's a, just to show you another feature here. We can also use the we can also see the HTML snapshot, which looks exactly like what you'd see on Google. And there's the um, for, for I should say for the chosen location. So I've chosen uh, Google.com English United States, which you can also do mobile um, various locations. You can drill right down. Uh, you can search on Bing if if you're interested in that as well. And um, so if we take a look at this. Uh, PPC stands for pay-per-click and refers to a type of online advertising. Short, one sentence, concise. SAM stands for search engine marketing and is a blanket term used for any kind of activity, blah, blah, blah. So this is answering the question that if somebody was to pick up their phone and say SAM versus PPC or what is SAM versus PPC, um, this is the answer Google will read back and this is why they're getting the featured snippets so you know you can look at this and then see why your blog post isn't uh performing as well so i'm just gonna open my one um let me see i'm just gonna open it here and 
Yep, my post is all the way down in actually position 13 because um, of all the feature snippets and videos. Yeah, it doesn't really answer the question, SEM versus PPC. It talks a lot about the different topics, but it doesn't really give the definitive answers. That's where I could improve and potentially jump from position 10 to position zero and get a whole lot more traffic. So this is a really great way to improve blog posts that are kind of languishing down the bottom of page one, even on page page two. Really, they should be on page one to get a feature snippet uh, and ideally in the top five or six. Okay. Um, so yeah, a couple of things to know about um, feature snippets is that uh, You'll only get a feature snippet if your post is on the uh, the f the first page of Google, the top ten essentially. And once you get a feature snippet, your blog post will no longer appear in the organic results. So you got to weigh up the pros and cons there. Do you want the first position zero, or do you want your organic listings? So you you know you got to figure out which one you think people are more likely to click on. And if you are getting the snippet and you don't want it, you should, you will need to reformat your blog posts or you will need to tell Google um, that you don't want them to use any of your content as feature snippets, but that's a different topic completely. Um, previous to 2020, it was possible to have both the snippet and the organic listing, but that's not there anymore. And how will you know which snippets are available? Well, you know, it's, a, it's, it's impossible to know all of them because it's a dynamic process in the algorithm because each slight variation in the keyword will bring up possibly a different snippet. Um, according to Moz, 23% of search pages contain feature snippets and there are five types, paragraph, table, list, video, and accordion. All right, so you could get any of those. We're most, more, most interested probably here in paragraph and list. Um, so the way to find out if something has a, a feature snippet is um, essentially to add in the keywords here and then it, over on the right hand side you will get the feature snippet um, SERP elements, sorry the SERP elements and you can order by feature snippet to see what's appearing in the search results because some of them won't have anything um, and if um, you want to know, for example, which blog posts, or sorry, which keywords are ranking for each blog post. You can go into Google Search Console. Here I am for this uh, original blog post, uh, blog post promotion checklist. You can see which keywords are ranking. Uh, I've got this actually on Australia. Um, so yeah, you can kind of get an idea of which keywords are, are ranking and how many impressions they're getting pop those into rank active and then see if there are feature snippets or people also ask videos related searches and adjust from there. So ideally, if you're in position one, you might not want to touch it. If you're in position 10, it's it's perfect opportunity to try and improve uh, your rankings and your position. Um, Yeah, so how do you get the feature snippets? Uh, provide short, snappy, and thorough answers to a user search query. That's really the answer. Uh, a, a summary of your entire post can be a great way to grab a feature snippet. You can put this at the start or at the end. And the introduction is a great place to not only answer a specific question, but describe how the blog post will help the reader. 